Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to present our work on ultrasound guided hydrostatic reduction for ileocolic intussusception. The study was done at the Department of Pediatric Surgery at the Women's and Children's Hospital in Adelaide. We have nothing to disclose. As you all know, ileocolic intussusception is a common cause of intestinal obstruction in children less than two years of age. The preferred mode of diagnostic imaging is an ultrasound of of the abdomen, which has a characteristic target sign as shown in the picture. The management options include a non-operative reduction where it can be an ultrasound guided saline reduction, a fluoroscopic guided pneumatic reduction, which is popular worldwide. And finally, the age old fluoroscopic guided hydrostatic barium reduction, which is rarely used these days. These methods fail, an operative reduction or resection may be required. In Australia, most centers use fluoroscopic guided pneumatic reduction to address ileocolic intussusception. But at the Women's and Children's Hospital in Adelaide, for the past 20 years, we have been using ultrasound guided hydrostatic reduction. This audit aims to determine the efficacy and safety of this technique. This is a retrospective analysis of a prospective collected cohort of patients studied over a period of eight years. The parameters studied included the success rate of reduction, the need for surgery, the lead point at surgery, and recurrence. The procedure was done in an ultrasound suit with the sonographer, radiologist, and surgeon being present. A warm saline bag is hung one meter above the bed and is spread through a rectal tube connected to a manometer. The rectal tube is then inserted per rectally and the glutes are taped to form a complete seal. After identification of the uh, intersusception, the saline is started and timed. Each attempt lasts for about three minutes and three attempts are made in a single sitting. The first picture shows the target sign. The second picture shows the reduction uh, in process where the uh, intersusception is being reduced across the ileocolic junction. And the final picture shows free efflux of fluid across the ileocecal valve, which suggests complete reduction. In a total of 108 patients, uh, with 68% of the patients being male, 98% of the patients underwent hydrostatic reduction, and the success rate was 88%. Of the 12 patients where reduction was not possible, six patients had pathological need lead points noted at the time of surgery. There were no procedure related perforations. There were a total of six recurrences which occurred within 24 hours and all underwent successful repeat hydrostatic reduction. Reviewing literature, we found that the efficacy of hydrostatic reduction is about 80, 86 to 90%. Uh, a recent RCT showed that hydrostatic reduction may be slightly better than pneumatic reduction. But the real advantage of hydrostatic reduction is that it is devoid of any radiation exposure. As, as with pneumatic reduction, the radiation exposure can range anywhere from 5 to 150 chest x-rays. Studies have also shown that the radiation damage to children may be 10 times compared to an adult. So to conclude, ultrasound guided saline reduction is an effective and safe means of reducing intussusception with the advantage of avoiding ionizing radiation exposure. Thank you.